Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Maya, and today I'm gonna, we're going to be reading John 3 to John the Baptist exalts Jesus. There was a man named Matthias, I think, a Jewish Rechalus leader who was famous. After the dark, one evening, he came to speak with Jesus, Rabbi. He said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are of what events that God is with you, evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth unless you are you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? Exclaimed Matthias. How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter king, the kingdom if God without being of God without being born of water and the spirit. He lives, can we be saved? And that part right there means being saved and um, baptized. Um, humans can reduce, reduce, reduce only human life, but, in, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I Say, you must be born again. The wine, the warm, the wind blows wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind, but can't tell where it comes from or where it is going. So you can explain how people are born of the spirit. How are these things possible? In your life? Jesus replied. You are a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you don't understand these things. I assure you, we we tell our testimony. But if you don't believe me when I tell you about earth earthly things, how can you possibly believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and returned. But the Son of Man has come down a pool. Oh wait. Has returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And Moses lifted up the, the bronze snake on a pool, and then in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life means go to heaven. For this is how God loved the world. He gave He gave His one and only Son so that everyone who believes in Him will not and will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him, but anyone who does not believe in him has already has already been judged for believing God's one and only son. And the judgment is based on the fact God's light came God's light came into the world, but people love the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who did evil hate the light and refuse to go near it, for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who 
do what is right and come to the light and others can see their doing and God's wants. I just read all the John 3 all the way to John Baptist exalts Jesus and that's why I'm gonna read and I'm gonna read this with my family with my dad my big sister and my little sister with him. I'm gonna read that in the morning and I'll film the next time that I have another one and I'll I'll do um, a video after this one records on this right here. That was a really good one. And then I have this one back here and this one. So, bye guys.